The law behind Walter Beck. There are many strong figures within Albion's history, and Sir Walter Beck is one of these people. In his youth, Walter came across the famous Hero of Bowerstone, and they became close friends. While fighting in the Hero King's army, he was knighted and became Sir Walter Beck. Within his unit, he fought alongside General Turner and Major Swift. During one of his many battles, Walter and two other soldiers sought shelter within a cave to hide from an enemy army. The army saw this and decided to blast the entrance, resulting in Walter and his men becoming trapped inside of the cave for three whole days. This excruciating experience, giving Walter a phobia of caves, darkness and enclosed spaces. As a soldier, Walter was able to defend himself well on the battlefield with his sword and gun, while still managing to befriend people along the way with his friendly and humorous attitude. Known for being trustworthy and always having a strong moral compass, Walter befriended powerful allies around Albion, such as Sabine, the King of Mistpeak, and Paige, who would become the leader of the Bowerstone Resistance. Walter and the Hero King fought together in many battles, resulting in Walter essentially becoming a part of the Hero's family. The Hero and their wife had two children, first Logan, and the second who would become known as the Hero of Brightwall. As the years passed, Walter watched over the Hero's children and was told to look out for the youngest. After the death of the Hero, Walter continued to serve the family, still watching over the children. Due to the death of his parents, Logan became the new King of Albion, and so, Walter felt it was his duty to serve him, just as he had with his parents. Over the years, as Logan ruled, Walter formed a strong bond with the youngest child, and sensed that this child could actually be a hero. He trained the young child in combat, and told heroic stories of their father. During this time, he noticed that Logan had begun making questionable decisions in his role, which resulted in Walter beginning to question his leadership. Seeing how Logan was beginning to spiral, Walter thought about whether to smuggle the young child out of the castle, but decided that Logan could still be saved. Over the years, Logan became even more tyrannical in his rule, until one day when he went too far. During a protest against Logan at Bowerstone Castle, Walter and the young hero attempt to stop Logan from executing the protesters. In response to this, Logan ordered the young hero to decide between the death of the protesters or his friend. Logan using his soldiers to keep Walter at bay. That night, Walter decided that Logan had gone too far and that now is the time for revolution. He smuggles out the young hero and Jasper through the tomb of the hero's father. Here, the hero discovers his powers, and Walter mentors him on how to use his newly discovered powers, and they travel across Albion to gather support from those that are unhappy with Logan. Some of these include his old friends, Sabine and Paige. Requiring a little more support, Walter and the hero travel to Aurora. While attempting to get there, their ship sinks and they wash up on an unknown shore of the desert region. Discovering an ancient dungeon, Walter is forced to face his fear of darkness and enclosed spaces, navigating through the ancient cave. Here, they come across the crawler, which preys upon Walter's phobias taking away his sight 
resulting in Walter going into a frenzied state, close to madness. Defended by the hero of Brightwall, he leads Walter out of the dungeon. Seeing himself as a burden, he demands that the hero leave him there and continue his quest without him. Seeing this revolution as more important than his own life. To his luck, he is discovered by the Aurorans and saved. Now with the support of the Aurorans, Walter and the hero return to Albion, using his previous battle experience to command the resistance against Logan's forces. The resistance is successful in helping the hero of Brightwall reach Bowstone Castle, where he confronts Logan and takes over as ruler. Now in control, the Resistance discover that the Darkness will attack Albion in exactly one year. Walter takes control of training the Royal Army, and with the help of Ben Finn, they train them for the upcoming invasion. Now as the King's aide again, Walter helps the hero with the difficult decisions that come with being a ruler, even still offering support when a less than favourable decision is made. After a year passes, the darkness attacks Bowerstone, and through a momentous battle, the crawler takes control of Walter. In order to defeat the crawler, and essentially save Albion, the hero is forced to fight Walter. Defeating a possessed Walter and severely wounding him, the crawler is defeated. In the arms of the hero, Walter congratulates him on doing what was right, and that he is proud, looking at the hero as if he were his own son. Walter dies in his arms. After the battle is over, a statue of Walter is created and placed in the garden of Bowerstone Castle. His friends and old comrades all come together to say goodbye, honouring him as one of the greatest men they had ever met. Possibly one of the most important figures in Albion's history, Sir Walter Beck helped change Albion in a more positive way, even though he wouldn't be there to see the outcome. Hello heroes, thank you for watching this little episode on Sir Walter Beck. What did you think? As always, like, share and subscribe if you found this interesting. Join our Discord. Now, enjoy your day. Bye.